hey y'all what's up jamie that's me here welcome back to the channel listen we're about to go ahead and get into court is messy so let us go ahead and do just that make sure that you guys are coming into the video you are showing your support by liking up the video okay so um this is regarding judge bryant okay they're just saying she's dealing with some disrespectful uh defendants i don't know what exactly it's about we about to get into it but y'all know i just don't like disrespectful people in the courtroom period but let's keep going called your ma'am don't shake your head at me uh-uh Try to look at the attorney. The attorney was shook the hell up. I do he was every like, day, five days a week. I log on to this Zoom and I know how to manage my courtroom. Mm -hmm. I'm ready on McNeil. Judge McNeil is an AG case just to let the court know. Miss Peterson, uh, the charge is trespass, and the prosecutor has informed me that that is also an attorney general attorney general's case. Uh, can you look into this for me? And uh, it's scheduled for pretrial today. Yes, I can. All right, I'm going to recall it. Um, are you able to <clears throat> let me know if you're going to be able to stand in or if, if one of your colleagues is going to log in? Sure, just give me like two minutes. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. I'm going to put Ms. McNeil back in the waiting room. I mean, ma'am, don't do that. Ooh. Don't do that, cause then I'm, oh, I was McNeil you shaking last. her head. Ooh, not you put her last. Don't act your like honor. you're the only case we have here today. I know that's right. Don't act like if you were down at 36 District Court, you wouldn't be sitting waiting. Ooh. You get the opportunity to wait in the comforts of your own home. So don't do that. We don't. We don't do that. But if you have somewhere else to be, feel free to go. Girl, you have a court. That's a setup. Morning. You should have blocked off the morning for your court date. Good morning, Mr. Riggs. Good morning, Judge. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm assuming you logged in on the McNeil case? Yes, ma'am. All right. And then let me release Ms. Peterson on the other case. That person never came back. Okay, then I am ready on McNeil and then Garner in that order. All right, this is case number. Um, one nine four five six zero eight zero one. The people of the state of Michigan versus Sunita Denise McNeil. The defendant is charged with one count of trespass. Disassociated person, I think. Yes, and today is the date set for a pretrial. Appearances, please. Judge, may it please the court. My name is Richmond Riggs, P33863. I am an assistant attorney general. I appear on behalf of the people of the state of Michigan. And Ryan Murad, P83665, on behalf of Ms. Sananda McNeil, who's present on Zoom this morning. Ms. McNeil, please unmute your device and state your name for the record, ma'am. Sananda McNeil. Your full name, please. Donetta Denise McNeil. Today is the date set for pretrial conference. How are we proceeding? Judge, if I may, um, I don't have the file right in front of me, but I believe that the defendant is not a disassociated person. I believe this trespass charge results from uh, prior convictions for assault with a dangerous weapon and fraudulent activity within the casino. And Ooh. the Michigan Gaming Control Board uh, served her with an exclusion notice uh, that she was not permitted in any of the three Detroit casinos. Oh, and damn. She is not self-excluded. She is excluded by the MGCB. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Riggs. Thank you. Okay. So, so you Mr. Murad, how are you proceeding? So, Your Honor, what, you know, typically I, I, I make a motion for uh, dismissal based on the complainant's failure to appear, but it sounds like there's a bit more going on here. What I'm going to ask the there court. There is no complainant. What do you mean? Exactly. So <laughs> what I'm going to ask the court to do is to adjourn the matter um, or maybe set it for final pretrial conference. That way, Mr. Riggs and I can maybe work something out and I can get the discovery and uh, we can move from there. Okay. The court will continue a not guilty plea on behalf of Ms. McNeil. And let me tell you what I found interesting. So earlier when we 
when Miss Peterson was here, and then I asked Miss Peterson if she was able to, you know, do the case because it was an AG case, and then whatever. And then Miss McNeil made that face, and then I addressed mm -hmm. the face or whatever. Then I didn't even realize at that time that it was scheduled at eight thirty-five, right? So what does that mean, right? Well, we know what that means. So let me just put on the record what it means. It means that the last time it was scheduled, Miss McNeil didn't show up. Oh, so that is so funny to me that the court did not put a warrant out for her arrest, gave her another opportunity to show up for court, and then she had to nerve uh, her to come in here and roll her neck. Who, who, who the prosecutor was. That's why y'all don't do that in my courtroom because it won't work out for you. It definitely will not work out for you. Additionally, I you know i'm tr i try my best to um these days these days because i haven't always tried my best in this <laughs> area to not um you know i don't know do whatever but the appropriate way to sit in court is not with your arms folded like that okay so that's not the appropriate way to sit in court um and then i'm gonna address bond I'm, I'm going to address Bond at the end of it all because I keep telling people that me and my staff, we don't come to court for people. I, I, I don't know anything about what happened at that casino, right? What I'm doing here is managing a courtroom. Miss McNeil continues to roll her eyes at me, to huff and puff at me. When I woke up this morning, tired because I am still drained, right? When I woke up this morning tired, I did not wake up and say, oh, I'm so excited to go to work so the people can roll their eyes at me, <laughs> smack their lips at me, and, and and treat me as if I arrested them, charged them, and now right. I'm over their cases. Right. I was thinking the same thing. I come thing. to this job, and I try to do my best in this courtroom. But what I won't do is have people who have their own issues come here and bring their issues to me I you have smacked real. your lips at me several times you have rolled your eyes at me several times mm -hmm. and the thing of it is i grew up at 6115 seneca on the east side of detroit i am the queen of eye rolling the, the queen, queen of lip smacking uh -uh. and i'm the queen of some other stuff that my job constrains me from so let's not go there with me because I have tried my level best to not only okay I have tried my level best but if you roll your eyes at me one more time Girl, this is horrible. or smack your lips at me one more time I am going to revoke your bond mm -mm. and then we can manage this case while you're in the Wayne County Jail. Don't do that again. You're being rude and disrespectful. And I have not done anything to you. I know that's right. I have not done anything to you. So if you choose not to come to court appropriately on Zoom, if you have a problem with me saying that you're not supposed to be linked up on the table with your arms. Right, because I'm like, I'm sitting over here looking at this like, I would have told her and sit up. And sit up straight. Okay? Because you're still in my courtroom, even if you at the house. You the one that got yourself in trouble, bitch. Don't be mad at me. Sit up straight. You are not a child. You are not in kindergarten nor first grade. You have went through all phases of school. And you know how to sit up and respect. Okay? Have some respect. Got to show the Lord a little more respect. Come on. Sit up straight, girl in person and you can stand up at that podium and then I wouldn't have to worry about you leaning in on that table with your arms folded your honor with respect I'm not even rolling my eyes at you not even being disrespectful at all at I you. Want you to, uh, um, that's not how it works so I don't know what that means your honor with respect but also um, if you have something that you want to say ask um, if it's okay for you to speak and then wait to be acknowledged. All right, Mr. Murad, how are we proceeding today? Because as I said, I, I'm the queen of eye rolling. I know when people are rolling their eyes at me. 
And I also know uh, I can look at you and see your lips smacking. But here's the thing. We're live on YouTube. That video is still going to be on YouTube. So you, after Ooh. this court appearance, can go back on YouTube and watch it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Mr. Murat, I apologize. How are we proceeding? So, Your Honor, um, we're asking the court to have the matter set for a final pretrial conference uh, for the purpose of uh, Mr. Riggs providing discovery and hopefully us uh, talking about a potential resolution. The court is going to set the matter for final pretrial conference August the 24th, 2022 at 9 o'clock a.m. Discovery should be submitted to the defense by July the 25th. 2022 bond will continue with absolutely no contact with any michigan casino i'm sorry detroit you said she's banned from the detroit casinos okay um so no contact with any detroit casino that's the mgm grand the uh oh i don't even know the casinos anymore Greek the, town, the and MGM, motor city Greek and Greek town, town and motor city thank you oh yeah Greek town motor city and mgm no contact with those casinos. Uh, anything further? Nothing on behalf of the people, Judge. And Your Honor, j just briefly, I, I want to take an opportunity to apologize on behalf of Ms. McNeil and take responsibility for, for some of this. When I talked to Ms. McNeil in the breakout room, me seeing this at 835, seeing a trespass matter, I was under the impression that if a complaining witness wasn't present here, it would be a dismissal. So Ms. McNeil and I really were discussing that course of action. And I think, it, you know, when she heard the record, she was a bit dis uh, surprised and maybe exhibited some facial reactions that she shouldn't have. I'd like to take full responsibility for that judge. Um, I'm going to talk to Ms. McNeil. The judge not going to let you take full responsibility. That should have never happened again. She probably going to be like, hell no, I let it go. I started putting up this, um, this, I started putting this up right here. You all know what I put up. I started putting this up right here when the people were, you know, uh, re, re, um, playing and, you know, the court videos on YouTube and, you know, putting them on their channel and everything. And I started putting up this right here. The, the judge that is presiding over the, um, I'm having brain freezes this morning. <laughs> Johnny Depp, is that his name? Yeah, Johnny Depp and uh, and, and her, the judge that's presiding over that trial, they don't put anything up like this on their screen. So it's being, you know, like, and so do you know there are like hundreds of memes out and, and TikTok, might, it could be thousands, I don't know, of, of those facial expressions and whatnot that they make in court. Facial expressions are something, right? They're something. Mm hmm and whether or not Ms. McNeil was surprised about that it wasn't going to be dismissed, because certainly you, I would hope, I would hope, I would hope that you would have said it's, it's possible that it could be dismissed or it's most likely could to be dismissed. Uh, I would hope that you would he say that the judge the can do whatever she want to do because the judge can right. do whatever she want to do. She can. Right. He gave her false so even expectations. Even if that complaint didn't come, the judge can do whatever she want to do within the bounds of the law. That's, That's right. why when we take a plea, I say, has anybody threatened you or promised you anything? That's why when I take a waiver, I say, has anybody threatened you or promised you anything? Because nobody can promise right, sir. anybody what I'm going to do because mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm, the only mm -hmm. one knows right. what I'm going to do. I'm the only one. So nonetheless, she still shouldn't have been smacking her lips and rolling her eyes. I told no matter you. what she was smacking her lips at and rolling her eyes at. That's right, Your Honor. Because this is the, the judicial process, and it is to be reverenced. I know that there's a lot of Zoom courtrooms that make a mockery out of this judicial process, but let me tell you what courtroom is not going to ever make a mockery out of this judicial process, and it is Judge Bryant in courtroom 339. I know that's I right. I appreciate that, Mr. Murad. Um because I was not aware that it was not a disassociated person's case either, or, you know, the trespass usually is, um, usually is a, 
a private citizen, like that's usually a private citizen. Uh, and so sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Nonetheless, um, I accept your apology oh, on behalf shocking. of your client. And of course, we all know that I won't even remember it the next time. All right. Anything further? No. Nothing on behalf of the people, Judge. Nothing further. Thanks again, Judge. All right. You're welcome. And you're all set. Have a great day. Thank you for logging in, Mr. Riggs. Appreciate it. Thank you, Judge. Stay safe. All right. You as well. Miss Neal, remove the hat. Oh, no, she did show up there. She got the little Ms. girl. Neal, we have been waiting on you all day. Ooh. I've been on your Miss Neal, stop. Ah. Don't Sorry. interrupt me. Do not interrupt me. First of yeah. all, you're and why are get you off in the bed? bed and we don't want to see your leg. That's right, your honor. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Second of all, you came in for a minute this morning. Get her, your and honor. And you have been gone all day. I've been okay. on your Miss Neal. Miss Neal. And you're going to talk back? I'm sorry. And then you got your hands on your hips or is they behind please your back? Don't bed? do me like that. I'm sorry. Did she say, please don't do me like that? Get her, your honor. And he trying so hard not to laugh. Look at Attorney Moran. We see you. Miss Neal, you have been gone all day. I have a Eat her up, your honor. Ma'am, don't shake your head at me. Girl, give her your honor. Let me tell you something that I do every day, five days a week. I log on to this Zoom and I know how to manage my courtroom. I see everyone who is in the waiting room. I see them when they come in and I see them when they go out. That's right, your honor. You were in the waiting room briefly this morning. I have caught your case, I don't know how many times. And you have not been here. Everyone who was in the waiting room has already been to the breakout room, has already spoken to the lawyers. Mm -mm. I have finished my docket with the exception of two cases and I am getting ready to start a trial. So do not tell me that you have been in my waiting room. You have not. I have asked on numerous occasions, where's Ms. Neal? She was here for a minute. She's not here. The prosecutor who was on your case has been dismissed since 10-15. Oh. They've been gone since 10-15. Why? Because Ms. Neal was not here. Mr. Marat, I am going to send Ms. Neal to a breakout room. However, the prosecutor is gone. We will not be handling Ms. Neal's case today. And she's in danger of having her bond increased. Ooh. So you all talk, no ma'am, no ma'am. Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't do that. Like and get that, your hands no, from being no, no, back. Stand, stand up straight. Up. Stand, stand up straight, up put your hands by your side. Has muted you because he's trying to prevent you from going to jail. So let's listen to this. Get Mr. your Mariah hands off your hips. You. We cannot hear what you're saying. Now, he I don't like that. It's giving, uh, when I dip, you dip, we dip. No, we ain't dipping. Okay, get your hands up off your hip, girl. You because he's trying to so you have to you dip into the jail. pot. But let me be clear about this right that here. I am raised. Judge Lanise Bryant. Ooh. Whatever you have to say to me, you better change your tone and change your facial expression. Whatever you have to say to me, whatever you think you have to say to me, look at you the, better look, change look your at tone the attorney. Look at the attorney. And change your facial expressions. Because of the people that are on this screen, there's only one that's in danger of going to jail. And that would be you. Number two, Girl, you when fix I put head. you in the breakout room, please take that opportunity to go change your shirt. White t-shirts are not allowed in court. Ma'am, if you... I'm not going to do this. Can I just do a quick breakout room with her? I think I'm not going to do it. I'm not and then she threw her she hand. Oh, I would, bond would have been revoked. See those shorts that she also has on, which are not appropriate for court. However, since we're on Zoom, as long as she's appropriate from the top up, then we don't care about the fact that she has on shorts for court because it's on Zoom. And this bitch done so sat up and laid. the breakout room. I clearly see that she's in need of one. And when you go into the breakout room, please explain to Miss Neal who, who Judge runs Bryant this courtroom. Is. Period.
I'm ready on price before you go deal with Miss Neal. I'm ready for the people who came to court and stayed in court appropriately. Yes, Your Honor. All right, this is case number 07659. This bitch don't want to put her a jacket on. I know that's real. Versus Terrica April. Uh, Why is the Home Depot rip on there? Defendant is charged with one count of gambling. Today was the date set for a pretrial conference. Appearance, please. For the record, Your Honor, Janice Stevenson appearing on behalf of Ms. Terrica Neal. Ms. Neal, ma'am, please un and tell the judge your full name. Terrica April Janae Neal. Today was the date set for pretrial. The, the prosecutor was present. The prosecutor was released at 10 o'clock. As I previously stated, Ms. Neal was present for a minute and left and came back at the end of the document. The court's going to adjourn the matter. What day am I giving? Judge, we are at June, July 6th. July 6th. Same time. What time would you get back? 825. Mm -mm. Be on time and stay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Child, that right there was a little piece of a mess. Now, they ain't give us a whole lot. They just showed us how Miss Judge tore into some people for not respecting her courtroom, okay? Um, that's all I got right now, girl. We will be getting into more. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, honey. Bye-bye.